teams getting yeah. productivity gains. You know, organizations predict they will not need much programmers or software engineers in the future. We're going to see how that goes. But could you please uh, talk to us about some security risks that some AI generated code pose? Yeah, uh, I, the the key aspect of it is just not thinking about the traditional hardening or security functions or factors when you're building out code. It's nice. You could do it very, very quickly. You could do it very, very easily. Uh, but unless you have these very strict guardrails or instructions um, or just really smart folks at the other end of the development side uh, making sure that you're doing the right thing, uh, you could spin up something very slick, very cool looking, but it's full of security holes and Swiss cheese. And so that's the part where it could be dangerous. You could do a whole bunch of stuff a lot faster. And frankly, it could be really cool. Um, but when you're thinking about speed, you're not always necessarily thinking about security in mind. So that's where that could be uh, pretty dangerous. And then there's also the potential to use insecure libraries. Uh, just because it works doesn't mean that it's a good idea to use. It's not safe or secure. And then the other factor of like slop squatting, where you know folks are creating um, much like a typo squat, but they're creating repositories that have maybe malicious code that the the AI can pick up on and injects into your code base. So if you're not considering those factors or don't even know to look for it, that can become extremely dangerous from that perspective, especially when you're putting less seasoned uh, developers behind it and just someone who's having more of a conversation with a, a piece of AI, frankly.